do 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 <laughs> Hi <clears throat> Hey everybody Thanks for joining Woohoo I was able to connect. Hopefully my internet connection will be better this show. Um, and I'm here at my, uh, at my parents' house. <laughs> so this is uh, where I grew up for my teenage years. Um, yeah, I'm in Pennsylvania visiting family. And someone asked, what time is it here? And it's 9.30 p.m. Uh, my husband's putting the kids to sleep, so uh, I'm kind of like talking quietly. Hopefully you can hear me good enough. And hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I miss all of you. I miss doing my weekly live shows and um, and doing these shows. <laughs> I think my parents are watching upstairs on their phones. <laughs> um, awesome. Okay, so I uh, read uh, your requests, and I'm going to try and do most of them. Um, and, yeah, and you know how, how these go. I'm never really, like, super prepared for them, so we'll be full of mistakes. Hi, Greg Polito. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess I'll just get right into it. Um, it's so hard because, like, I see all your messages popping up and I want to read all of them. <laughs> um, all right. Hey, Lay. Okay. See my friends join in. <clears throat> I'm going to start with. A good day. Let's see.
just got my 45 minute reminder. <laughs> I have a, a timer set on Instagram, so it, it alerts me when I've spent 45 minutes on Instagram and it, it just popped up. So I gotta go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, people have been requesting that song a lot, so I never usually play that song at shows, um, because sometimes I don't have a piano, and it's nice, I'm, like, kind of figuring out how to play it on the guitar in a way that works, which is cool. So thanks for your suggestions, and, uh, okay, I'm so awkward on these things, because, you know, I'm just in a room by myself talking to my phone kind of, um, and yet you all are there. <laughs> um, okay, so, do, 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 do. I'm seeing a lot of boob song requests pop up. Uh, I didn't practice that one, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, do, 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 do. yeah, uh, why not? Okay. I'm gonna do boob song, and uh, let's see, where should I keep this? Boop, boop, boop. Okay. It's <clears throat> too high. <clears throat> So this is a song I wrote uh, when I was just first dating my now husband, but he was my then uh, early boyfriend. And um, we were kind of like moving forward in the relationship and um, and uh, he, he was going out of town one weekend and he was like, you can stay at my place while I'm away if you want. And I was like, ooh, this is like next level. So um, I, was, I was really excited about that. So I was like, okay, yeah. And while he was gone, um, I was, you know, just hanging out at his place and I started to kind of like snoop around a little. <laughs> um, not really snoop around. I was just looking at the books he had on his bookshelf. And I, uh, I found a book of poems, so I pulled it out and um, I opened it up and inside the front cover, there was a personalized note written to him that said, Dear Michael, I know that you're very sensitive, so I know uh, you'll enjoy these poems and I hope that they remind you of my boobs. Signed, some other gal and uh and i was just like what the heck um of course that's the one book i pull out and what a surprising note what an inscription uh and so i didn't really know what to do with my feelings back then so i just like picked up my guitar and i the song just came flowing out and and then when he uh, came back from his trip I was like, hey, you want to hear this new song I just wrote? And, uh, <laughs> and that's the song. So here we go. <laughs> okay, again, I really didn't practice this one. So let's see.
my love not doing. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering my own lyrics. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the boob song. That was impromptu. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, okay, someone had requested elf song. So I'm going to play that now. Okay. In a, a little fact about this song, I to do yeah, I started writing this uh, when I was on tour with Amos Lee, and um, I started writing it backstage after I'd play my set, and you know, then I'd be hanging out backstage and. That's where this song was born. She was an elf with long legs who had no friends cause everyone around her was small and petite perfect and she was old
awesome. Someone said, oh my god, I made it. Yay. I'm so glad you're joining us. Um, okay. 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 Sorry. I'm <laughs> reading through all your messages. Um, um, it's all... Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay, thank you for your hearts. Thank you for your love. Um, okay, someone requested Torch Song. So I'm gonna try and sing that. Um, yeah, I like this song. I, uh, <laughs> I don't play it a lot though because I'm gonna be totally honest with you, it, um, it makes me really sleepy when I sing it. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, if I save it till the end, I'll probably just fall asleep. Uh, so I'm gonna sing it now. <laughs> okay, I gotta shake the hand out. The elf song has a lot of F chords and bar chords and my hand is weak. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I kind of wanted to play this different. Let's see. Forget how I practiced it. Let's see. Long ago, I thought I heard your name. I thought it
Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> She's rooting around for something. <laughs> She's got a stack of face masks in her hand. <laughs> um, okay. Um, hi, Ivan. I'm giving you a shout out. He's what they, they're watching from the Philippines. Thanks for watching. Bless you. <laughs> Um, Gabriel asked how I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, I was in Vancouver for a very long time and now uh, we decided to come to Pennsylvania and um, spend some time with my, my parents here and um, it's been really nice. It's, we've been here for about a month and a half and my parents are like, when are you guys leaving? <laughs> Been here for a while. Uh, we've got two little kids. It's it's a lot. We've turned their world upside down. But um, yeah, uh, it's been nice to be back in America. And um, yeah, we're uh, taking care of some stuff. And then um, I think we're heading back to Vancouver, actually. So... Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Um, trying to work on music and write some new songs and do some fun recording covers, burping. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do um, a song from when Marnie was there. Someone had requested uh, for me to play with you. I should have wrote down your like all the names of who requested what because it feels so impersonal. I'm like someone requested this, and I don't know. Maybe it feels not as special to that someone. Um, but uh, okay, so I'm gonna play this. Let me see if this is in the right key. This is kind of like a song about best friends. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen the movie when Marnie was there, this is, uh, yeah, there's a, a pretty big theme of friendship in it. And uh, this was on the companion album that, this song wasn't in the movie, but <laughs> it's uh, it was on the companion CD, which is a bunch of songs I wrote inspired by the movie. Um, that's a thing that uh, sometimes people do. Um, okay, let's see. Me, me, shine. I will give you more of my heart. That's a little low. watching from Philly. <laughs> uh, so I went and got my hair cut in Philly um, a little bit ago and I, uh, I've been borrowing my parents uh, old car but it's this minivan which I'm not used to driving a minivan and I totally dented their car <laughs> and I felt like I was 16 again and I was like oh man my dad's gonna be so upset <laughs> So that happened. Most expensive haircut ever. <laughs> because I'm going to pay for the repairs. <laughs> Meet me on the shore. I will give you more. <laughs> Someone's asking me, can you sing this in the original? I, you know, I'm on a different guitar that doesn't have as long of a neck, and so it's, uh, I just don't know what the original key is. I'm sorry if, if it makes it harder for you to sing along to. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kitzinger uh, was at the Hamilton in Washington, D.C. I remember that show. That was really fun. I was singing with Wendy. I'm pretty sure we did this song. Um, and hi, Savita! <laughs> and let's see. Da -da -do -da -da -ba. Um, gosh. Uh, I'm looking at my set list and I'm like, these songs are so sleepy. I hope that's okay. Um, let's see. So uh, last summer, a year ago, like at the height of the pandemic, um, I was doing uh, weekly kids shows every Wednesday morning and it was like, it was such a light in my life uh, during that time. Uh, it gave me like a feeling of purpose and a feeling of like, I don't know, that I was just doing something and focused on anything else but the news. And, um, and one of the songs that I would play often was the Rainbow Connection song. So someone re had requested that and I thought I would do it since it's been a little while. Oh yes, um, Ivan Sandula said they almost got to watch me in Manila, but the show was canceled because yeah, there was a huge storm. I remember that. So we ended up staying um, in Korea and skipping it. And I remember just feeling awful. And I still think about that show. Um, the fact that we didn't get to go and perform for all the people who bought tickets and hopefully everyone got reimbursed but um and you know i just thought about everyone there during the storm uh and i hope i hope i can come back and make it up to everybody um i know a lot of people are like touring already i'm saying already i'm such a homebody so i'm like oh they're out there touring already um i'm not judging anybody <laughs> um but um, yeah, I think, uh, I think, hopefully, if everything goes well, uh, I will do some touring in 2022. So I have lots of time to prep for that, which is good. <laughs> okay, so here's Rainbow Connection. Organizing. Okay. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing. So we've been told and some choose to believe it 
the show and I think a lot of it <clears throat> has to do with this chair I am in our old family lazy boy and I don't know uh, I feel like you can't really go wrong in a lazy boy <laughs> and it's also a special show because of all of you <laughs> it wouldn't be a show without you <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'm just, I'm feeling really comfortable. And also I have my mom's, um, Eagles pillow supporting my back. So go Eagles. <laughs> um, oh man, would you play something from the original Priscilla album from HS? I'm assuming that means high school. Um, yeah, you know, I, I've a few people were um, requesting songs from this album. It's like the first CD I ever made, and I don't even remember all that was on there. I know that I had the first song I ever wrote is on there. It's called the Beach Song, um, uh, I can't. I can't play it. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember how it goes. It's been quite a long time, but uh, yeah, no, I just I, it surprised me that so many people know of that CD. Maybe it's been circulating around somewhere on the World Wide Web. Um, okay, <laughs> I lost a girl. Yeah, that's on there. In Revolution. Yeah, that's right. I Lost a Girl, that song I wrote on the bass and I played it on the bass. It's like, I can't play it. This is a guitar and I don't understand things like that of how to uh, transpose. <laughs> but anyway, maybe, oh, someone said thinking of you. You know, I was thinking of that song because some people were requesting it. I didn't write that song. And, um, let's see. It's alright if you just want me to leave. <laughs>
Um, I did like that song. Um, okay, I'm not doing any of that. Uh, I'm gonna do, uh... I saw some people asking for living in a tree. I think I can handle that. Let's see. This is one I, I do often. Way too low. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I, I ordered this guitar off of Amazon. <laughs> this guitar but it's a bit the intonation is not so great said uh, in all caps which to me always has this voice <laughs> someone record this um yeah I guess I could post this I always feel like I post these things and then I look back on them and I'm like oh my gosh I can't believe I posted that it's like it's one of these more like I make so many mistakes and I feel like it's kind of okay because we're like in the moment but then 
watching it back, I'm like, this is terrible. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, somebody, uh, well, somebody right now, Lupe Cherez, um, requested rain, and that was another one I had on my list. This is gonna be like a two-hour show. <laughs> um, and, uh, okay, I'll save this one and I'll post it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, shoot, I don't have my... Uh, I left my other harmonica upstairs, but, uh, oh, now this is all out of tune. And then I'll play some more Marnie songs. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cute. We have a cat here named Marnie from the movie. So sometimes when we call her, we go, Marnie, like she does in the movie. Marnie. <laughs> um, rain, okay. Oh, stretch back onto my pillow, okay. This is, I, I kind of wanted to do this song because I wrote this. I moved to LA when I was 19 and I think it was like two years in and I was starting to get to that like two year slump like you know the first year is really exciting when you move to LA it's all new and it's so different and then you realize like oh like I have to get a job and make money and um, you know not doing like doing something else I was waitressing at the time and and so I was like, oh, this is really kind of not fun. And um, so you hit that like two-year slump. And I feel like that's when a lot of people decide if they're going to like keep staying or leave. And I, uh, yeah, I was thinking of coming back and like going to college and pursuing like a more stable career path. And... Um, and so I was just thinking about my family and missing home and, you know, it doesn't really rain in L.A. that much. And so I was missing the rain and I wrote this song. Well, it's rain.
song about missing my family um yes um <laughs> uh okay uh da, 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 da. thank you <laughs> my dad said that was definitely the chair the old man was snoring in yeah it was this one this is those chair i pictured when i wrote this song my parents have since upgraded to uh, better lazy boys. So I'm literally in a room full of lazy boys. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Um, I did that. Someone had requested Kaze wa Tsumete, which is, uh, a song I really love. And it was on, um, a Japanese album that I did of a lot of cover songs. It was called Natural Colors. And um, here's the thing. I didn't really practice this song. I haven't sung it in a very long time, but I'm just gonna play a little bit of it. Let's see. jamming out to that song in the car and yeah that song just makes me feel good it's such a vibe um okay so that was that little snippet uh and okay I did that 
what else, what else, what else? Okay, now I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do with, I'm gonna, no, I did that. I'm gonna do uh, Deep Inside My Heart, which is another song from the Marnie soundtrack um, companion album. Because last time I did uh, an IG Live, uh, someone was begging for me to do that song and I tried to play it and I messed it up and I felt really bad about it because I just gave up halfway through, kind of like what I just did now with Kazuyotsu did. <laughs> I guess I do that often. So maybe next show I'll do Kaze Otsumite really well. Um, okay. But I'm going to do this for her. And I don't know if she's even watching, but this is for you. I'm sorry about last time. I got it. I still need the words. Bring up my lyrics. Okay. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Omar said this song's a tearjerker. Um, it kind of is. Um, I mean, this whole movie is a a tearjerker. Um, and. So the director, um, let's see, every, we all called him Maro, that's his nickname. Um, and uh, Hiromasa Yonobayashi, um, he, uh, I feel like he personally really uh, connected to this movie um, and he felt like he also was Anna in the movie. For anyone who's seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and so he really wanted to, me to write this song about Anna. This is like her song. And he kind of wrote some of these words out. And he's like, maybe it could just have this feeling. And he wrote, like, deep inside my heart. I can feel this feeling. Try to start something small but big, but you don't know what it is. And it was like, it's, I basically turned it into the first verse. Um, and so in my head, I always call this motto song because I feel like this, this song is about him. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm listening because I feel like um, I can hear myself through my parents' phones upstairs and it sounds like there's like a major lag and I was like, oh, am I still singing? <laughs> um, aw, I just saw a message. Kayla says, I sing my two-year-old dream every night before bed ever since he was a newborn. Aww. That is so sweet. I love that. That that just like makes me <laughs> so happy. It makes it makes me feel like I I don't know. I could never have dreamed that I would have written that song called Dream and <laughs> that people would hear it and be sending me those these kinds of messages. Um, and on that note, why don't I sing Dream right now? <laughs> um, so Zed, you're actually in the future for us. Gosh, I guess that's true. It's so weird. Um, hopefully, hopefully my signal is good. Yeah, I think it seems good. I always struggled in Vancouver. Okay, here's Dream. Okay, that sounds good enough for this guitar. Okay. <clears throat> Sip of water. <clears throat> Oh my goodness! She said my girls also walk down the aisle to it. Oh! Gosh, that's crazy. I, that's so crazy. <laughs> and sweet. <laughs> okay.
um oh um yeah there's definitely a lag i can totally hear myself still singing upstairs <laughs> for those of you just joining i'm at my parents house in pennsylvania sitting in the lazy boy and my parents are upstairs watching the show on their phones and um yeah it's awesome <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, all right. I'm just going to go right into it. Uh, la, la. Someone else requested, remember how I broke your heart. And <laughs> it's so weird. I can hear myself laughing. Maybe they should turn the volume down on their phone. <laughs> um... One of my favorite songs to sing. Um, it's it's one of the rare songs that kind of just like I can still hear myself talking. Turn it down. I'm sure it's my dad. Turn it down, dad. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, this is one of those rare songs that just kind of like happened and it just like flowed out. Um, was done and so I just recorded it immediately and then that recording is what's actually on the album um, yeah so it's basically a demo <clears throat> Which island was it? Someone asked. You know, it was actually um, the island of Manhattan. So, uh, lyrically, uh, for accuracy's sake, it was kind of a stretch, but it rhymed. 
And I thought it worked. <laughs> um, okay. I am going to sing... What else is on my list? Um, I think I'm going to sing Fine on the Outside. It's about time, right? Okay. Asking for boob song in all caps, and I sang it already. <laughs> um, I guess I could sing it again, but what if I just did like a live show of just me singing boob song on repeat for two hours? And then everyone would get a chance to hear it. <laughs> uh, no, I, I did. I sang it earlier, but I'm gonna post the show so you can watch it. If you want to, it's not live. Like it is live, but not in this present moment. <laughs> um, I haven't done lullaby song. I've, a lot of people are asking for lullaby. They're shouting at me, lullaby. Um, yeah, I should do that song. Uh, I should do this. Okay, so maybe I'll do it after this one because I already tuned this string down so I'm kind of committed to fine on the outside let's see I was gonna say I was you know mid song I was like earlier I was talking about how my back felt really good during the show and I said I think it's the lazy boy I think it's my mom's Eagles pillow um, but also I went to the Cairo today, and I just wanted to tell this story. Okay, we're probably boring the heck out of you guys, but, um, so I wanted to say, I love telling people this story. So, like, I never really believed in chiropractic. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, it's a joke, or it probably doesn't work, or whatever. Um, you know, I knew nothing about it, and I totally passed judgment on it. And, and, um, a lot of times when I tour, I, I find touring to be a little stressful. It's a lot of work and travel. And so I hold a lot of my tension in my neck and shoulders and it just messes everything up. And on this one particular tour, um, I just kept feeling like I was getting sick. Like it just like live like for real sick like I, my, it felt like I was swollen here and my lymph nodes and every night I was drinking soup and having tea and and taking vitamins and it just I just kept I was touring with Wendy and I was like gosh I don't know I just feel like I'm like on you know coming down with something and um and then I did a show in Atlanta and my best friend from high school, Jason Balthaser, was at was down there um, with his wife and doing. They were studying chiropractic down there, and I'm sure when he told me he was studying to be a chiropractor at the time, I was like, "Oh, that's really great." But in the back of my head, I was like, "Really? Like, I don't believe it works." Um, <laughs> and so I told him about it. I was like, gosh, I have these migraines all the time and I just feel like I'm getting sick. And he was like, well, um, why don't I just give you an adjustment? Um, I should probably say I, I made an appointment with him. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get him in trouble. <laughs> he was like doing this as a friend, um, as he was learning what to do anyway. Okay. So this was someone else. Um, uh, anyway, so he, he had gave me an adjustment, like at the show, I was standing up like, and he did all this crazy stuff. And I, I mean, it was like crack, 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 crack. And I was like, oh my gosh. But I still had a headache and I was like, it didn't work, you know? And, um, but then literally 30 minutes later, everything went away. I didn't feel like I was getting sick. My migraine went away and I never had that feeling again for like a year plus later. So, um, I'm sold now. And so every time I come home, um, he has an amazing practice here in Berks County in Wyoming. So if you're close and you need 
a good chiropractor, I would um, definitely look him up. It's called Core Health. I'm gonna look, Core Health Chiropractics. Yeah, and why I'm missing. They're amazing. And he like implements like physical therapy elements in with it. And anyway, I'm just very thankful to him and his wife who've helped me so many times. Okay, that's enough of my chiropractic spiel. Um, I just think it's amazing because I thought I was getting sick all the time and I had no idea a, like, having an adjustment could fix all that. Okay, now where was I? Fine on the outside. Now I'm gonna sing a song about how I had no friends in high school, which obviously isn't true because I did have some really amazing friends in high school. Was that a paid advertisement? <laughs> oh, and speaking of Marnie, Marnie, she's at the door wanting to come in. Um, maybe um, I'd have to get up and let her in. Uh, <laughs> or maybe my mom will come down. Oh, she's coming. Okay. No rush. I'll just be singing the song. <laughs> Hi, mom. Okay, she's letting she's letting Marnie in. Actually, Marnie bit me last night. <laughs> so, Marnie and I aren't close. <clears throat>
Did Marnie come in? No. No, she's being, she knows I'm here. So funny. My, uh, <laughs> my, um, poor relationship with Marnie the cat. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Aw, oh, yay. I'm glad you liked that's the, the, the performance. <clears throat> Let's try it. I wonder if I remember all the words or right. maybe I should look it up just in case. It's so funny because sometimes I look up my lyrics on the internet because I've forgotten them and I'm too lazy to listen through the song. And then I'll I'll be like, were these the lyrics? Because sometimes they're really off. <laughs> um, and I find it funny. Okay, so this is this is a song called Lullaby. This is like one of the earlier songs that I wrote, and um, it's kind of based on the town that I'm in right now. Uh, is this messed up that I'm singing this song? Um, <laughs> but actually, no. It was really inspired by um, there was a. Uh, our cop had one town. Um, it's a very small town. And uh, at the time, this was 20 years ago. <laughs> I don't like saying that. Um, there was um, a police officer in the town and he was just kind of a, a jerk to everybody. Like he would pull you over if you were going like two miles over the speed limit. And um, and his name was Officer Hicks, which we all kind of thought was funny. Uh, so, and he did something pretty messed up. Um, a friend of mine had a dog in um, on the main street of town, and this dog was like super friendly, was older, and like most people knew who this dog was, and it kind of wandered a little further away from home, and it. Uh, kind of went into someone's garage, but it wasn't, as far as I know, it wasn't growling, it wasn't being aggressive, it was just like walking around sniffing things. And, um, and this police officer shot the dog. Oh, this is a morbid story. He shot it multiple times and we were like, this is so messed up. And, and I, and she of course was devastated and heartbroken and a lot of people were upset and um eventually I think he moved on um I don't really know um I feel so like <laughs> I feel so weird telling the story being here I'm so worried like someone's gonna knock on the door and be like don't tell that story um so this was a song um kind of because of that incident. Okay. Oh shit. Here's a lullaby. Oh. Do, do, what is that chord? Oh, this is embarrassing.
Exhausting to sing, and <clears throat> gosh, it's so dark. <laughs> Can't believe there were so many requests for that. Um, but yeah, I guess a lot of people can relate. Um, there's a lot of small towns, and a lot of people feeling the small town vibe. <laughs> um, all right, I did it. I'm doing it. Uh, I, this is the longest show I've ever played on here. And I don't know, I'm just enjoying it. My back feels good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, all right, I'll do the rest of the songs that I've prepped. Um, by prepped, I mean played through halfway once. <laughs> okay, I did A Good Day, I did Elf Song, those are all songs some of you might have missed. I did Torch Song, With You, Rainbow Connection, Dream, Fun on the Outside, I Can't Hide, Leave the Light On. I didn't do that yet. And I kind of wanted to do this song because it's another song um, that was inspired by home here in Pennsylvania. So uh, we live kind of like out in the boonies a bit. And, um, someone's coming down the stairs. Is that Mike? Uh, okay. And, um, and so, and so it's kind of scary at night here in the boonies. It's completely dark. There's lots of wildlife and screaming foxes. And in my head, there were just always people in the woods um there weren't but I in high school I read In Cold Blood by Truman Capote and it scarred me ever since uh so uh so sometimes I'd come home late at night and every now and then my parents didn't leave the outside light on um because they were saving electricity which I guess is a valid point but um, it would be just pitch black out and I would be so scared to get out of my car sometimes. <laughs> and yeah, someone said screaming foxes. Um, yeah, I think, I think foxes scream, but it sounds like 
if you've ever heard it in the middle of the night, it sounds like someone's being murdered. And it's like, ah, 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 and, <laughs> and it's so freaky. And, um, and okay, so anyway, this is a song about me being afraid. Um, I mean, it's not about being afraid of the dark at night here at home, but it was inspired by that because the first verse is me begging my parents to leave the light on for me. <laughs> Mike, are you eating a banana? Mike? Hi. Are you eating a banana? <laughs> He's eating ice cream. I'm still doing my show. Just, that's okay. Keep it down out there. the backup singers too those guys were incredible um yeah they were like these old soul singers from back in the day <laughs> um and someone else said such a sweet message bow made candles i remember she discovered me in middle school and now she's a mother and still singing these songs i love that um, uh, t -t 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 someone said they heard my song City Lights in a movie theater before Harry Potter played? That's so cool. Um, <clears throat> okay. All right. All right, so I did leave the light on. My hand's starting to get tired. Oh, yeah. I want to do this cover. Cause I love this song. All right, two more songs. <clears throat> it's been a long, long time 
Thompson's have memorized your face It's been four hours now since I've wandered through your place and when I sleep on your couch I feel very safe and when you bring the blankets I cover Sufjan Stevens cover um, that I love to sing every now and then. Okay, and last song. <clears throat> I have to remember the tuning of this. songs off of my EP, my new EP, called I Can't Hide, and um, I wanted to sing the song because, um, so when I became, so when I became pregnant for the first time ever, um, five years ago, I kind of um, took a big step back from playing and music, and I just wanted to like focus on being a mom. And that became very all-consuming. And, like, for a split second, I was even considering, like, doing something else <laughs> career-wise. And um, and then I became pregnant again uh, two years later um, with my second child. And it was weird. As soon as I became pregnant the second time around, I was like, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? I need to – I want to play music again. I want to – perform, I want a tour, I want a piece of my old life back. That's probably what happened. And, um, yeah, and so we were actually here in Pennsylvania visiting my family. Um, my kids were super little, and it, uh, I remember I was up late one night. It was like 3 or 4 in the morning, and I came downstairs. I was in this living room, and I picked up <laughs> this old guitar that's like missing strings and is super out of tune and it's still sitting over there in the corner and um <clears throat> and I just started to write this song and again it was like one of those inspired moments where the words just came and and I was like oh, I wrote a song I wrote a song I did it and it had been years and and it is 
totally what got me, you know, wanting to write songs and make this EP again. And, and so it came um, from here, which is where I'm sitting right now. And so I, I wanted to end with this song. Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> shows so far that I've done on here um thank you all for joining me and for listening um this felt really good like I said before I really missed you all and I just appreciate you all um so from this lazy boy to yours hopefully somewhere I say good night and thank you so much for listening <laughs> all right i'm gonna post it so um if you missed anything you can watch it again okay good night bye